Good morning. I am at Valladolid Campo Grande train station. And I'm going to Segovia. But the train is the train going to Chamatin, Madrid. But it will stop in Segovia. And I am way too early. It's only 8.15 and the train is leaving at 8.45. So I still have to wait a while and there is my where I am supposed to go. It says there Valladolid Madrid Chamatin. But now I'm going to Segovia, I'm going to see the, the Roman aqueduct. It's going to be amazing. Well, we just have to play the waiting game now. Let's go have a seat. We are going to, through security and boarding 15 minutes before the train leaves. I like this train. I like the number 08088. Fantastic. My favorite number. Here we go. Segovia igualmente. Igual. Va a Segovia y luego a Chamartín. ¿Es este? Sí. What seat do we have? 17. Sí. Nope. 17 must be up here. The first wagon. Okie dokie, I have arrived to Segovia and the train arrived just on time, 9.20, just like scheduled to arrive. Segovia Guillomar. So the train stops outside of Segovia, so you can either take the bus or I will have to find maybe a taxi and get to the center of Segovia so they, they stop like five minutes and they're leaving now they're going the train is going to Madrid I think the first thing I would do is to have breakfast. I haven't had breakfast yet. A small train station at Segovia. I think I'm gonna go Mark my territory. Let's get out here and find what transportation to take me to the center town. One taxi, two buses,
So what do we do? There's lots of cows over there, over the yonder. Very cool. So they have the price right here: nine euros for weekdays if you take the taxi, and twelve euros for weekends or holidays. So basically, here. You have to call for the taxi, or you can, or you can go online, and then the taxi will come. But they will not. They will have have queues of taxi here. It's not going to happen. So I call for a taxi because I wanted to go to not just the aqueduct. I think the first. This is first thing in the morning, so I want to go to see the viewpoint. First, let's see. He waved for me, so I'm not sure if this is the one I called. Let's see. See, see. What else? Can you me here? Ah, he knows my name. That's pretty good. Pretty cool. Very well organized. Let's go. Buenos días, señor. Buenos días. ¿Dónde vas? Um. So he recommended go to not go to the aqueduct, but go to Algazar, yes, and then you can walk up to the um, castle, and you can see the whole city. And from there, I will walk down slowly and see everything: the aqueduct, the, um, the cathedral, and um, the Jewish quarter. We'll see what happens, but I'm gonna go up there, and first thing I will do is see the view of the city, and maybe have something to eat because I'm starving. So that's pretty well organized. He dropped up some a few passengers, and then he say my name, and um, here we are. It's okay. It's Right, that was the old factory, which is already shut. They used to make some sausages. So they use the old factory to make movies. They use the old factory to make movies as a prisons. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it looks like a prison. I even asked him, "Is that was that a prison?" But it wasn't. We are coming into the city, so basically he's going to take me up first, and then from there I can go around and see the beautiful view of the city. Then, so walking down, I think that's a sound idea. I think I'm gonna have to stop filming or videoing before I run out of battery. Even before I get there. So the city is surrounded by the protected wall. Amazing! Oh my goodness! I'm I'm loving this. Gonna start seeing the um, castle. Well, if we get up, up, up here, it is. <laughs> he, the, he said that it looks like Walt Disney Castle. Definitely no, not for me. Sheesh. So, oh my gosh, beautiful! All right.
classic sexy driver showing me around advising me where to go first most of tourists they would go straight to the aqueduct that's the Vera Cruz church from the 10th century there's lots of Romanesque churches So in there is is where they printed the first coin in Spain. So now it's a museum. Let's see if I have time to see everything. But for me, the aqueduct is that's what I wanted to see and the castle, um, the Jewish water. So this entrance right here used to have the door because it was a uh, medieval town. So when they shut the door, no one could enter or exit. So we are now inside of the protected wall of the old ancient city. So we are now arriving to where he's gonna leave me. So a total from the train station to here, going round and round and explaining everything to me is 12 euros. Really worth a ride. So this is the map of Segovia. You see the protected wall that goes around here. It's amazing. It's still there. It's the longest wall according to the beautiful view so this view is taking if you go into the cafe and walk outside to the back of the cafe and um, this is the view you see of the cathedral which I will walk to the cathedral from here and then from the cathedral I will walk down to the aqueduct so it's better to go up by car than walk down, then walk all the way up to the cathedral and then you get there, you're tired and then you don't want to do anything else. Okay, let's see if I can get something to eat for breakfast. So this is the time schedule for to get the ticket to get inside the to visit the castle but I decided not to because I only have until six o'clock and I have to get back to the train station so and I have many things to see 
and um, so I am not gonna visit the inside of the castle because the next visit is another 30 minutes so I won't I'm not gonna stand around waiting 30 minutes to go see the castle but now I'm just gonna walk to the cathedral and go on from there okay the sun uh, is getting pretty hot this morning it was cold when I left the house um, the highest temperature according to the weather channel is 35 degrees so I got my baseball cap I'm gonna put it on later on look at the wall the city wall the ancient city wall all right let's get to the cathedral and from there we're gonna descend into town the lots of tourists um from what i hear is lots of japanese lots of koreans and there's a military base over there so i saw some soldiers hi let's get moving so i had breakfast with a view amazing breakfast well the breakfast wasn't amazing because i usually have fruits for breakfast you know papaya mango kiwi um blueberries but this morning i have coffee and a croissant so it's not something that i would have but that would give me more energy than just have fruit you know what i mean all right let's get out and get moving bye for now okay i'm gonna start walking up this way to the cathedral but just wanted to show y'all just follow the signs well indicated and look at that Calle de Velarde that's a very fancy plate for the street sign so I'm buying postcards to send off to all the people that I love and um, they get a handwritten postcard personally and not just a picture through whatsapp or whatever so this is where i got my postcards i went ahead and bought loads of postcards for oh here we are oh sheesh well i went ahead and bought some postcards for 25 cents but they are just the same as the one euro one All right, we are here at the cathedral. Oh, wow. Yay! We are about to go inside the cathedral of Segovia. It's extremely, extremely beautiful. Right, let's hit it. Then you have to buy a ticket to get in four euros. The entrance fee. It's worth it. Let's hit it. Okay, let's start quickly. Do a tour of the inside of the cathedral. Let's see here. It was built. in 1525 by the order of Charles the first and consecrated by 1768 amazing let's go one round 
and absorb in everything. It's very hot outside, but in here, like a refrigerator. Very cool and nice, since it's made out of stone. I am running out of battery. No. Too many things to see. So little time and so little battery. I'm sure this is the cloister. Let's go check it out. Wow. Y'all look at this. Continue on. Look at these columns. Sheesh. Let's go to the back of the cathedral. Lucky for those who live around here and have this magnificent view. Oh gosh. And hear the church bells every day. I don't have a well, I do have wild lands but I didn't take it with me, so silly me. Today is the day to take it, but I didn't. All right, let's go back in, see you later. I'm saving my battery.
Plaza de Mayor. Everybody say you have to be here, but I don't see anything special, although still beautiful. There's another church over there. Gonna check it out. So from the cathedral, just go down to the shopping street. There's so many things to see, just that I don't have enough time. And um, so many little details. But I'm coming up to this. I'm not sure what it is yet, but I will soon find out. It looks amazing though. Casa de la Lectura. Cool. This is a library. Let's go find out what this place is. So if you keep going this way, you will hit the aqueduct, the famous Roman aqueduct. So should I wait and go into this church, San Martin, or just gonna go ahead and um, go to the aqueduct? I think I'm going to the aqueduct. I have too many things to see. How cute. Thank you. That's amazing, and she's singing as well. <laughs> she's thank happy. You, thank, you, thank you. I love my job. <laughs> okay, she says she loves her job. Yay! This is the viewpoint of Canaleja. So far, I haven't seen the aqueduct, but I'll get there. And we have arrived to the aqueduct. I can see it's right in front of me. Yay! Originally, that's all I wanted to see, but then, then I saw a list of other things uh, interesting. But um, this is what I came to Segovia for the famous Roman aqueduct. the icon of Segovia. Oh boy. Impressive, spectacular. Right, so let's go find a better viewpoint.
I'm gonna go to the um, where they sell cigarettes and also that's where they sell stamps so when I sit down to have lunch I will also write my postcards to important VIP people so many birds so I just bought stamps to for later when I'm ready to sit down have my lunch and write my postcards and send them off there's a yellow um, I don't know box where I can just put them in there they call it Correo post office um, it's not post office post box and now I'm gonna start my climb going up and see these spectacular view that you see in pictures so let's let's go and um, I have my bottle of water so when I'm thirsty I have something to drink all right see you guys up there let's climb up just quickly turn around for y'all to see well actually for me to see this amazing view which I just turned around and saw it and I saw that view the same view in pictures there you go amazing I think it's better over here That mountain over there is actually called um, the Dead Woman Mountain. The taxi driver told me because it has a form of a lady laying there and it does. I know it doesn't look that way from my camera but I'm not doing good. I'm not doing great at capturing it, but it does look like a dead woman laying there. What a spectacular view. on one side and went to the other side and do the same thing it's an amazing view I cannot get enough of this view So many birds so I took the video of one side and now we're going to this side <laughs> so many people here so you can't really take a picture without annoying someone
just came from there. I'm sort of done with the aqueduct. Took all loads of pictures, loads of videos. Now I'm follow the sign and I'm going to Jewish Quarter, Barrio de la Cuderia, down here. But also I will um, look up and make a reservation for lunch because I heard that to eat the suckling pig or the um, milk um, fed lamb at this one famous restaurant you have to make reservation or you're not gonna have lunch at that particular restaurant. Alrighty then, I just came up from down there just to go to the Jewish Quarter, but then I have to go back down and um, because I just called and they, I made a reservation and they said it's 1.30 to eat the suckling pig at this famous restaurant. Um, so I have to go back down without seeing the Jewish Quarter. So because um, it's a way to walk over there, so I don't want to be late. Once I'm done eating, so I probably can come back up here to visit the Jewish Quarter. And maybe that's about time to go to the station and go back. Alrighty then. Well, just considering it um, doing some exercises. You know, I have been walking for three hours around town, so instead of going to the gym, you know, just do some cardio walking up and down the hill. So I'm walking to the restaurant. I'm um, 30 minutes early, but I rather found the restaurant, know where it is, and walk around there. Or maybe if they let me come in early, I can just sit down and write my postcards. You see, it's just right around the corner. I'm not sure if y'all can see right here. It's right around the corner. Where is it? Not here. This one? Jose Maria. <laughs> uh, yep. I am there. Okay, okay. Let's see. Oh boy, you can see the cathedral and the Plaza Mayor, the Mayor Square from here. So it's right by, it. oh boy, right by where I was. So I'm gonna eat the typical suckling pig that they're famous for. Okay, just came in the restaurant and just so that you all can see. Toreros. I am early, so I'm gonna ask if I can sit down or I'm just gonna go outside and wait. Okay? Let's ask. <laughs> Perdona, um, yo soy Manuel, que acabo de llamar para hacer reserva a la una y media, pero ya estoy aquí, no sé si puedo ya descansar y um, entrar. Sí, sí puede ser. Sí, gracias, muy amable. 
Okay, let's go to my table. Very popular. Oh my goodness, where are we going? To the labyrinth. All oh, right, outside. Nice. Big this restaurant is. Gracias. Well, I think I'll be eating by myself. Muchas gracias. Cochinillo Viajero de Jose Maria. So, to start out with, um, they gave me um, pumpkin and orange cream so I'm gonna try it but I order a suckling pig for one person so I don't know how big it's gonna be but I'm gonna try this oh my gosh let's see if who's gonna cut this Vamos a por ello. Sí. So this is how he cuts it. Oh my gosh. Va a tirar el plato? No, no? vale. <laughs> Spectacular. Gracias. Very busy. Late lunch. I believe it. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> All right, now I am gonna have my suckling pig. He was so nice. He told me to go down and watch him cut the pig. This was recommended to me by the waiter as a typical Segovian um, dessert. So um, it's quite tasty, really good, not too sweet. It's got a nutty taste and creamy, so I like it. Jewish Quarter. Let's see what's in here. It's actually right next to the cathedral. But then, when I was at the aqueduct, it, it took me up to the top, go round and round and round, and finally, I have to go down to the cathedral. Sheesh. But, by doing so, I get to see other things. So, it's not all bad. Calle de la Puerta del Sol. So, what am I looking at? Calle de la Cuderia Vieja. The Jewish, the old Jewish quarter. What am I looking at? Where am I supposed to go? Here?
Hey, I'm here. Caminos de Sefarat. Red de Cuderia de España, Segovia. Basically, there's nothing to see but this house. But it's shut now. Let's see. Right, it's open from 10 to 2, Monday and Tuesday. And then from Wednesday to Saturday, it's from 10 to 1 and 4 to 8. Sunday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Okay, so this is it. This is where I'm supposed to go in. This group of buildings are named after the families they belonged to. They were formerly the main houses for the public accountant of Henry IV and of the Catholic monarchs, as well as or Abraham Senor, Senor Rabbi of Castilian Alhama. So basically, it's just an educational center of the Jewish quarter. All that walking. And here we are. Can't see anything. Okay then. Just go for a walk. I have seen all there is I need to see for today. Um, if I knew, I would have gone into the inside the Castillo to see, to visit the inside because I thought when I was up there, I thought I wouldn't have enough time to see everything, but it turned out I still have about an hour before I head back to the train station. Okay then, I'm just gonna take it easy. I think I'm the back of the cathedral. I think everybody finished with their lunch. I went to the lighthouse, I used to frequent. And I told the landlady my money was there. I asked her for credit, she answered me name. Such a cost of us, your sight would have every day. And it's no name. You're very welcome. <laughs> My pleasure. Bye. Bye. Oh, so sweet. I think that was a good end to my video with some music don't you think unless i see something more interesting or something interesting i will just go and quietly suck in the beauty of segovia then get on the taxi and get back to the train station and go back to Valladolid where I'm staying so I hope you all enjoy this my tour of Segovia one day tour and I'll see you on the next video thank you for watching